and the role of flawed statistics and models, such as those from Imperial predicting over 500,000 deaths within weeks if lockdowns weren't imposed, were a crucial part of the fear campaign. And note, for example, this report from March 2020 was predicting 40 million deaths without social distancing. Now, we know that up to the end of December 2021, that's almost the whole of the first two years of COVID, there were 137,000 officially classified COVID deaths in England and Wales. This Freedom of Information request asked for how many of these deaths had COVID listed as the only cause. And here's the answer by age breakdown. The total number is just over 6,000, which is just 4.5% of the total COVID classified deaths, i.e. all but 4.5% had at least one other comorbidity as a cause of death. Now, it's especially revealing that there are only three under the age of 20, which confirms that COVID is essentially zero risk to healthy young people. So let's start with the definitions. Well, we've got Fred, who has no COVID symptoms, tests positive at a PCR test for work. He doesn't go on to develop any symptoms, but he's classified as a COVID case. 13 days after his PCR test, Fred's critically injured in a car crash, rushed to hospital. Well, he's classified as a COVID hospital admission. Two weeks after being taken to hospital, Fred dies from his injuries. Fred is classified as a COVID death. Onto vaccines, Jane gets a vaccine and 13 days later tests PCR positive with symptomatic COVID. Jane is classified as an unvaccinated COVID case. Peter gets a COVID vaccine and dies the next day. Peter's classified as an unvaccinated death. Onto the vaccines. We've all seen how the narrative has gradually unfolded. And of course, now there's a standard script used by media personalities and politicians who get COVID multiple times after multiple vaccinations. But let's be clear how it was originally solved. Now we know that the vaccines work well enough that the virus stops with every vaccinated person. A vaccinated person gets exposed to the virus. The virus does not infect them. The virus cannot then use that person to go anywhere else and bizarre promotional stunts for the vaccine. Vaccine. And just a few weeks ago, Deborah Burks, who led the US COVID response team with Anthony Fauci, essentially admitted it was all a lie. I knew these vaccines were not gonna protect against infection. And I think we overplayed the vaccines and it made people then worry. But how did it all work out for the acclaimed AstraZeneca vaccine? Well, The Express noticed in December 2021 that the vaccine had disappeared. In fact, what was covered up was that as far back as July of that year, it was no longer being provided to GPs in the UK. And that's because it was already known what kind of serious adverse reactions it was causing to healthy people. 